Well, 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 look who it is. It's me. I'm here. I have a cold, and yes, and so don't mind the voice. It is what it is, but I feel pretty decent, don't get me wrong. It's just one of those things that happens at least once a year for me. <laughs> but anyway, pretty excited for today because we're reacting to Wonder Girls. They won the, uh, they won the poll for this week, and I think the thing that's the most interesting is that this is probably the oldest... No, this, no, probably not older than Big Bang, but definitely the oldest woman group that I've reacted to. And that's what makes this kind of interesting. I like to see the, you know, change. You know, K-pop kind of both changes and doesn't change over time. It's really interesting how that happens. So I'm very excited to see how this works. And I thought this was going to be a pretty close poll as well. And it was for a little bit, but towards the end, uh, Wonder Girls definitely started to separate themselves from the rest of the pack. So pretty interesting stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, enough of that. Enough of me blabbing. Um, I'm going to go down the usual spill. My name is Aaron. I run this channel called Killdeer25, and I grew up as a metalhead who hated every other genre. But um, as you get older, you kind of want to expand and give things a different, you know, a new try and, you know, try out some different stuff as well. And, well, I just, a friend of mine decided to let me, or have me try K-pop, and here I am, I've been here ever since, and I don't regret it, because it's been awesome, mainly because of all of you have been so amazing. In any case, let's check out one of the premier, and probably first biggest uh, female groups, shall we?
okay. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Um, this, interestingly, shows its um, age in a different way from most uh, songs. And that is, for some reason, during this time and during this period, not just in Korea, but in most foreign pop music, it was always kind of given this breezy, beach-like kind of feel to their music. Uh, I'll say this again, I used to be a really big fan, well, I still am actually, of a French artist by the name of Elise, and she had a lot of music that kind of produced this sort of, um, I, I always call that the ska chord. A lot of ska chord, slow, kind of giving you that breezy beach feel. I mean, they're basically in swimsuits in this as well, and, you know, I think that's obviously on purpose and uh, for the reason of the tone of the song and I think the interesting thing is about this though is how it differs from country to country and I think the way that this um, feels to me when it comes to k-pop is definitely the um, the difference that they do is that even this far back you know this group started and I think it was like 2007 the uh, interesting thing is, is that they still had uh, the rap verse going for them even all the way back then. I guess, I'm going to guess that that was just a very common theme even from the beginning of K-pop. And I don't know. I haven't been well acquainted with this old of K-pop. But, you know, usually we're... Uh, most of the music that I listen to usually comes from about 2012 and up. And even still, that's kind of considered older, but, like... This is this is a different level. Um, so, to me, with the song, I actually really like it because it feels very nostalgic. I can kind of almost immediately place it where I was uh, all the way back then. Um, I don't know if the song actually came out in 2007, um, but it certainly has the vibes of uh, late 2000s. And <clears throat> I think that that's the interesting piece about it, is that... Um, I think that this definitely gives it a, that time period. And I actually really have to say I like that. And it's kind of interesting because there is some simplification to, to K-pop at this time, isn't there? Not that it's a bad thing, just kind of something like, oh yeah, okay. You know, they're still kind of uh, experimenting on what they need and what they want from their artists and what they need and want from their music. And I think this is actually a really, really cool piece to kind of look back into. So, as for the song itself, very fun. And I actually, uh, I'm going to go look up the lyrics, but I liked the vocals. Very, very airy, very, very uh, deliberate. And, you know, I think that they work well together. There is there is a certain chemistry that this uh, group has that um, I think feels a little bit more genuine than some of the other bands that I've listened to. Um, not all of them, but they, they definitely seem like that they were friends. <coughs> so, in any case, <clears throat> very interesting to go back this far. I really, really like this. And I always kind of like to see, like I said, the progression of, if you, if you want to call it a progression. So, in any case, if you like this song as much as I did, uh, go ahead and like. Uh, recommend me some songs in the comments. I take all suggestions and I try to get it out as fast as possible. And I hope <clears throat> that going forward that this video is a little bit of positivity that you can use throughout the rest of the day. And I hope to see you again.